Hi, I'm Travis from SlideUX. Being first to market with your product is important, but so is taking time to invest in your product's user experience. So what do you do? Now, before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click the notification bell so you know when we upload a new video. You know that user experience is crucial for users to adopt your new product. But so is being first to market, and time is running out. So what do you do? Around 10 years ago, I often worked with clients who had brilliant ideas for new phone apps. Unfortunately, many of them suffered from the same syndrome, wanting to overload their apps with so many new features that it would have been difficult, if not impossible, for them to bring it to market in a timely fashion. Worse yet, most of these functions were completely extraneous from the core purpose of the app, but in the eyes of the product creator were absolutely essential for the product to have, even though they hadn't done any user research to back up these claims. Each time this common scenario would play out, I would ask each client the very same question. What are the one or two things your product is going to do better than any other product on the market today? If you can identify the killer features you need to bring to the market first, you'll save valuable budget, and more importantly, you'll reduce your product's time to market. After pinpointing those one or two essential features, you'll have the feature list of your own MVP. Now it's time to find the perfect product design team and get the ball rolling on launching your product. A solid MVP should contain just enough to scratch the biggest itch. Once you've launched, user feedback will guide your strategy from then out. Users will often surprise you with feedback about what they think is the most important feature for your app to have. Forget about building in all the features Facebook has currently. It simply isn't needed. Remember, Facebook didn't launch in its current state. It launched with a minimal feature set that grew into the current product over two decades and through billions of dollars in revenue. During that time, designers tested, gathered feedback from users, refined features to users' needs, and finally set them free in the world. Even with the most dedicated design team, it would be impossible to launch that two decades in version with your initial launch. Give your users what they want, the one or two features that set your product apart and great design to match. By building in this way, you'll ensure your fingers on the pulse of what your users will want moving forward with new feature additions. You'll also be able to grow your features organically from their direct feedback, so you can avoid the pitfalls of creating features you or CEO or any other leader on the product team thinks is really cool, but that no one is really asking for. So congrats on your new product idea. I hope it changes the world. Just remember, you have all the time in the world to add nice to haves after your MVP is out there. Keep the first version simple, powerful, and well-designed. Have you cut your product's feature list to create a fast to market MVP product? If you have a similar experience, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks. In the next video, my colleague Jamie will talk about how she helps product teams tackle the mountain of priorities that are competing for the team's focus. For more tips like these from Slide UX, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell and share.